cleartakeinfo.com offers free help and advice for all of your computer, internet, and technology questions. Just register for a free membership, and after you receive your welcome email, you may log in and post your question on our help forums. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. Hello, everybody. This is Joey from cleartakeinfo.com. Windows 7. When somebody asks me what is the difference between Vista and 7, I would just give them a quote I, I saw on the internet. It went something like this. Windows 7 is simply a Vista that works. Not much has changed from the transition of Vista to 7. The only thing I can see is that it is more smoother and has a few more features that are improved. What I'll be showing you in this video is a very brief run through of some of the features of Windows 7. And in the near future, I'll be posting in-depth tutorials of specific Windows 7 features. I'll start with a simple right click of anywhere on the Windows 7 desktop. And as you can see, it's the same as Vista. I made a tutorial on this if you want to know what these are. NVIDIA control panel if you have an NVIDIA video card that you installed like I did on my computer. New, you can create a shortcut folder, different types of files. You can change the screen resolution from here. Click that, different options. Gadgets. The gadgets have changed from Vista to 7. With the Vista gadgets, you needed a sidebar in order to mount them. With Windows 7, you do not. You just throw them on the desktop. I personally like the gadget placement of the Windows 7 ones compared to Vista. With Windows Vista, you had to create an extra sidebar. With Windows 7, you do not. They just automatically get attached to the background. I'll create a in-depth tutorial on this in the future. Personalize. You could change the appearance of Windows 7. And here are more options. And something I've noticed which is very good is if you right click the recycle bin, it does not have a delete option, so you accidentally delete the recycle bin icon instead of emptying the recycle bin as you intended to do. So in a way, it's sort of idiot-proof that. If you right-click the taskbar, go to properties, there are different options to choose from. Here, not much has changed with the time and date settings. Just check out my Windows Vista tutorial on how to change the date and time, and it'll, everything will apply to Windows 7. Audio, nothing has changed. If you click this arrow right here, there'll be different icons listed. You, if you don't know what they are, you can just simply hover over them and they'll tell you what it is. You can also customize with different features. Here's the new Windows Explorer. And something added called libraries. This would be very useful for all of you with a lot of music on your computer or videos or both. Actually, anything that's media. Music video picks. I'll show you in a separate tutorial that will go in depth on libraries. Couple new things. Sticky notes. You could create a sticky note and leave it on your desktop. And when you shut down your computer, this sticky note will not get deleted or wiped out of memory. It will always stay there unless you click the X to delete it. And you must confirm that you want to delete your sticky note. Another thing is a snippet tool. The snippet tool, 
you could create a screen capture of exactly what you want to capture. Nothing really has changed in terms of these settings and options with the control panel from Vista to 7. Check out our Windows 7 tutorials that we'll be posting in the future. For more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.